Deputy Speaker, one of my local schools today is concluding a fundraising effort which will provide an opportunity for its students to come to Canberra this year. For the last few months, the school community of Edney Primary School in High Wycombe has been raising money to enable students to travel to Canberra this year during Canberra's 100th birthday. Deputy Speaker, as you would be well aware, it is a big effort for any school to be able to travel to Canberra, but it is even more costly and difficult for schools in my state of Western Australia to make it all the way to Canberra, which makes this achievement even greater. The sports teacher at Edney Primary School, Ms Cathy Hayes, has organised a fundraising drive as part of the school's Keep Fit program to encourage students not only to have a healthy lifestyle but also to raise money for their trip to Canberra. The students, and Deputy Speaker, I think this is a very innovative approach, has been running or walking laps around their school oval to collect tokens. These tokens are then converted into kilometres for the flights to Canberra. On a Wednesday morning before school, students and parents have been running and walking as many laps around the oval as possible. In their physical education classes, the students have also been running and walking laps around the oval, all in an effort to gain more tokens to contribute to their Canberra trip. At each assembly, an update is provided to the school community showing not only how many laps have been walked or run, but on a map how many kilometres on, of the way their students have made it in their walk to Canberra. Deputy Speaker, what is particularly ex excellent about this project is that it has brought the entire school community together to strive for an important combined goal. The students not only get to take ownership of what they have achieved, but they are also being rewarded through points for their school factions. The entire project has been a great way to help students truly appreciate just how special such a trip is, and Edney Primary School should be congratulated on their efforts. All too often in life we take things for granted, but I can imagine that this experience will not be one that his students will forget any time soon. Deputy Speaker, the teachers have reported back to me that the project is also helping students to get to know more about Canberra and Australia generally. I have no doubt the students will learn even more when they make it to Canberra in person, not only to visit Parliament, but to visit the many sites that our capital city has to offer, particularly with all the information around its centenary year. I want to congratulate the students themselves who have taken up this project with great enthusiasm. And I also want to thank the parents who have taken an active involvement in walking and running laps with the students to help accrue even more tokens. Deputy Speaker, I know the principal at Edney Primary School, Shirley Duggan, and the rest of the leadership and staff at Edney Primary School have worked extremely hard to promote a close-knit and supportive school community. Finally, I'd like to offer my special thanks and congratulations to the sports teacher, Cathy Hayes, who's coordination of this project has given the students a great learning opportunity. To the students, I'd like to say, well done. You have achieved something quite amazing. Congratulations to you all.